Hey guys, what's up? Josh Fearson here. My question is simply this. What is one soul worth? Now, I would say that it's worth whatever it is that you are willing to sell yours for. That's the law of supply and demand. So let me get a little bit more specific. What will you sell your soul for? I know a lot of people today that while they may not sell their soul all at one time, they begin to trade it away bits and pieces for relationships, for money, for fame, for things. They begin to worship everything but God, and yet it is that while we are chasing paper, this paper is worth nothing more than what the U.S. government says it is. And yet we chase it every single day thinking that it'll somehow make our life better. But you see... That paper, much like your soul has an eternity, and that paper one day is going to burn and leave you with nothing, not going to be worth anything. So my question is this, have you been chasing the wrong paper? You see, because this paper holds no secrets. This paper is not worth anything at all. But maybe you've been chasing this paper when instead you should have been chasing this paper. Because this paper one day is not going to be worth anything. Holds no secrets. Holds no value. But this paper holds the secret to eternity. To eternal life. Think about it. What is your soul worth? Well, this paper says that it's worth everything. So much so that Jesus Christ died on a cross to save your soul for eternity. So maybe instead of chasing that paper, maybe you should start chasing this paper. God bless. I'm asking that you please take a moment. And I'm asking that you share this video because there's somebody today that needs to wake up and realize that this stuff is not eternal. And while this video may be the most expensive one I've ever done, if it saves but one soul, all of that money burning right there was worth it. Chase this paper, ladies and gentlemen. It's the key to eternal life. God bless. Have a beautiful day. Please tag three friends in the comment section below. Share the video and... Well, most of all, if you're not living for God, please get in this word and get to know him. I challenge you to read John 3, 16 and Acts 2, 38. God bless. Have a beautiful day. Remember, click share if you care.